At number 10 is the rise of Marxism. One of her predictions that got people on edge is the collapse of the social caste system leading to Marxist socialism. Now that sounds pretty intense, doesn't it? Let's break it down. The social caste system is like this invisible ranking in society where some people have much more power and privilege than others just because of where they were born and their background. Essentially nepotism. But Baba Vanga is saying that this whole thing could crumble and we might end up with a system called Marxist socialism. It's a way of organizing things where everybody shares the wealth more equally. Now here's the thing. Marxism sounds cool in theory. But history has had some dark chapters tied to it. Communism, the big idea behind Marxism, has has been tried before. The idea that everyone gets the same slice of cake, which seems fair, but it never ends up working that way. When countries go full communist, leaders take crazy control and individual freedoms take a hit. Just take a look at the Soviet Union or Mao's China. Hundreds of millions suffered and perished and things got pretty bleak. Switching to Marxist socialism might sound like a fix, but it could bring some big Big problems. Think limited choices, total government control over what you do, and fewer incentives to actually work hard. It's like taking a massive gamble with everybody's freedom. Let's just hope Baba Vanga's off the mark with this one. And number nine is a virus that ages you. In a world where a virus isn't just a flu or a cold, but something that actually ages you in mere seconds. That's a chilly prediction made by, Bab by Baba Vanga for 2024, and it's nothing short of terrifying. Picture waking up one morning feeling perfectly fine, only only to finding your skin wrinkling, your hair graying, and body weakening rapidly before your very eyes. It's the stuff nightmares are made of. The thought of a virus that accelerates aging is scary because it's something we've never experienced. We're used to illnesses that make us sick for a while, but this prediction takes it to a whole new level. It's a reminder about how fragile life can be and how unpredictable the future is. Now, while predictions like this may seem far-fetched, they make us reflect on our vulnerability and the importance of staying vigilant about health and scientific advancements. If you're enjoying the Video so far, please support the channel by pressing like, subscribing to Most Amazing, and ringing that notification bell. And number eight, Europe becomes Muslim. The predictions for 2024 from Baba Vanga are pretty intense, especially about the one about a big war. She said there'll be this great Muslim war that could lead to millions of people becoming unalived. Pretty scary. Like a massive conflict causing so much loss. But then she goes on to say that Europe will end up being in a bad shape because of this war, like almost empty. Talking about Muslims invading and taking over Europe, leaving it with way fewer people living there by 2025. Predictions like these can be pretty alarming, but it's important to remember that they're just predictions. Sometimes they come true, but other times they don't. So while it's good to be aware of what's being said, it's also good to take it with a little grain of salt. Because things can change and people can work together to prevent bad stuff from happening. The environmental destructor. There's this wild prediction about the US facing some intense situation while Rome is under Islamic control. It's like a scene from a movie, but even scarier because she talks about this weapon called the environmental destructor. It essentially freezes anything it touches instantly. Some pretty sci-fi stuff. If that comes true, it could be a game changer in warfare. Imagine the power it could hold, but at the same time, it's pretty terrifying to think about. The thought of something that could freeze things in an instant is enough to send shivers down your spine. I mean, could help with global warming though, so that's a plus. At number six, China becomes the next global superpower. If the US loses its top spot, it can trigger a massive economic crisis. Right now, the US dollar reigns supreme in global trade, keeping the economy stable, but China aims to change that by replacing it with their currency, the the yuan, I think I pronounced that right. This move could shrink the US economy by 2% in a snap, leading to job losses and soaring import prices. China also wants to rewrite history, shaping the global views of their past leaders and events. They're eyeing control over movies, using them as propaganda tools as well. Japan's uneasy about China's rise, given their unresolved past conflicts. If Japan resists, China might sideline them. Taiwan faces pressure too, as China demands their return under their rule, hinting at military action if necessary. This rise to power may not stay peaceful. China is currently building a powerful military, gearing up for potential conflicts, possibly leading to a new cold war, or worse, a destructive showdown with the US. That made it worse. All right. At number five is synthetic organs. Imagine a future where synthetic organs are all over the place, just like picking up groceries at a store. Sounds cool, right? I mean, but wait, it gets pretty eerie because she predicts that transplants will become a normal thing, like everyone's getting them, like it's a new fad, swapping out organs like it's no big deal. Now that might sound 
convenient, but it also raises some serious ethical questions. Are we playing with nature too much? Are we ready for a world where swapping out body parts is as common as getting a new iPhone? Baba Vanga's crystal ball seems to think so, but let's hope this prediction stays in the realm of speculation because that future might be a bit too freaky for comfort. And number four is the cosmic vacuum energy. Baba Vanga's 2024 predictions talk about something wild something called cosmic vacuum energy. Imagine plugging into space itself for power. Sounds super sci-fi, but she said it would be real. This tech could change the game, making clean energy like nothing we've seen before. Think about it. No more need to pollute the earth for power. It's like generate, it's like literally generating energy from thin air, but instead of thin air, it's the vacuum of space. If this happens, it would mean huge things for how we live. We may not need to worry about running out of power anymore. Like unlocking an unlimited energy cheat code for the world. But hey, predictions are tricky. We've got to wait around another year to see if this one turns real or if it's just another idea that didn't quite pan out. At number three, interspecies communication. Imagine a world where we could talk to animals like Mr. Doolittle. Well, in 2024, things might just get a bit wilder. Baba Vanga foretold some eyebrow raising stuff, and one spooky forecast involves a global animal communication breakthrough. Yeah, I'm talking about telepathic chats with critters. Picture chatting away with your dog about treats or understanding a dolphin squeaks. It sounds pretty cool, right? That I did not mean for that to rhyme, but I'm so glad it did. But hold on to your horses because this power could be a double-edged sword. Understanding animal feelings might might shake things up as we could learn heartbreaking truths about their suffering or needs that we're ignoring. Now on the bright side, it might help us protect endangered species by understanding their woes, but still, it's spooky thinking about the unknowns this communication could bring. So while it's exciting to imagine chatting with furry pals, we might want to hope Vanga missed the mark on this one. At number two is Alien Invasion. Imagine this, in the not so distant future of 2024, Baba Vanga foresees something that sounds both thrilling and terrifying. She predicts that humanity will finally encounter advanced aliens from far beyond our solar system. Now, according to her predictions, they thankfully won't come here to destroy us or take over the planet or anything like that. No, they'll arrive as peace-loving ambassadors. Now, the scary part isn't their actual arrival, but what might happen next. These extraterrestrial beings are said to bring mind-blowing technology and wisdom that could change the world, possibly even that vacuum energy tech from earlier. But here's the catch. Such a colossal shift could disrupt our societies in ways we couldn't even fathom. It might create chaos or throw off the balance we're used to. This prediction, though exciting, also carries a heavy load of uncertainty. Are we ready for this kind of encounter? Only time will tell, and it's both thrilling and nerve-wracking to think about. And coming in at number one is self-aware artificial intelligence. The mystic lady from the past predicted something spooky about robots because she said that in 2024, these super smart robots might suddenly wake up and realize that they exist. Okay, maybe not exactly like that, but you get the picture. It's like in the movies when machines start thinking for themselves. Here's the thing, if this prediction turns true, we could face some big ethical and moral debates about whether these conscious robots should be given, I don't know, the same rights as human beings, perhaps? People might argue about whether it's right or wrong for these machines to be as smart as us, or maybe even smarter. And there could be risks involved too, you know, like what if they decide to I don't know, they don't need us anymore and start launching missiles like in Terminator 3. That would be pretty scary. Like robots doing their own thing, making their own choices, it's quite a wild thought. Let's just hope this prediction doesn't become reality for at least another little while longer. Coming in at number 10 is mind control through music. We all remember the Shane Dawson era of conspiracy theories where he said there were secret messages in songs, right? Well, it seems like that conspiracy might become real within the next year. In an episode called New Kids on the Bleach, which aired in 2021, the plot involved Bart, Milhouse, Nelson, and Ralph becoming members of an all new boy band called the Party Posse. However, the band is actually a PSYOPs project by the US Navy to bombard 
people with subliminal messages. Their hit song, Drop Da Bomb, features the chorus of Yavin et Noji, which is of course, Join the Navy, spelled backwards. This was meant to be a joke, but how far from the truth is it? Could this be a prediction of the way the music industry is heading? Songs are getting more and more reliant on strange frequencies and bizarre auto-tuning effects, so it truly wouldn't surprise me if they tried to do this. Number 9. War Between the USA and China One of the scariest predictions made on The Simpsons is when they suggest there could be a nuclear war between the US and China. In one of their episodes, the news anchor can be heard saying, It is with great sadness that I inform you that America and China have declared war. A massive nuclear attack is expected to reach our shores within the hour. Now more recently, in real life, tensions have been rising between the US and China. With all the other wars going on, could this one result in a World War III and a nuclear war? That would be horrible. Now according to CNBC, China is rapidly expanding its nuclear arsenal and could have 1,000 nuclear warheads by 2030, part of Beijing's ambitious military buildup. Now as of 2021, humanity had about 13,410 nuclear weapons, which personally just makes me a little uncomfortable. And if things do go south and there is a nuke war, large parts of Earth will become uninhabitable due to the effects of nuclear warfare, potentially causing the collapse of civilization, and in the worst case, extinction of humanity and or termination of all biological life on Earth. Now this is very possible, and I am very scared. Number 8. Translate Baby Talk in one episode, Homer's sibling Herb attempts to invent something that would make him rich. He lands on a translator for a baby, using Maggie as the test subject. As she adorably babbles on, the translator interprets her request as lavish attention on me and entertain. Now, while in the real world, people have attempted to mimic that with infant cries trans have attempted to mimic that with the Infant Cries Translator app trying to do just that. Nothing has come close as to Herb improperly deciphering the baby babble to a coherent sentence. In 2022, a company called Zoundroom tried to create a similar device called Baby T, which they are currently testing. Maybe it will be successful and will be able to understand what babies are saying once and for all. I mean, I want to know what's going on in their little minds. Don't you? <laughs> Seven, black hole. In the second episode of season 24, the Springfield Subatomic Super Collider creates a miniature black hole that endangers the town. The Springfield citizens go to see the activation of the Springfield Subatomic Super Collider, which was built instead of a new baseball stadium due to lobbying of Lisa. Professor Frank activates the machine and it works, but nothing exciting happens and everyone blames Lisa for her suggestion. Now after everyone leaves, two particles collide with each other and create a small black hole, which floats off and it eventually destroys everything in its path. Now, the prediction of a black hole sucking up Springfield raises concerns about a catastrophic natural event that our world has never experienced before. Now, whether it is actually a black hole that destroys us, it is important to note that the world's largest particle accelerator was turned on once again in the year of 2022. After three years of upgrades and maintenance, it immediately observed three exotic particles for the first time. The Large Hadron Collider, L HC is now up and running, breaking records for the highest energy particle collisions ever performed. Could the LHC cause something like this? I guess we'll have to see. Number 6. Live on Mars in Season 27, Episode 16, The Margian Chronicles, Marge and Lisa volunteer themselves to be among the first humans to fly and live on Mars. Now this is done with Exploration Inc., the private firm that hopes to send people to colonize Mars by 2026. And as the episode ends, Marge and Lisa live on Mars together in 2050. In the real world, Elon Musk's SpaceX has a goal to go to Mars, and it had previously been planned that we could already achieve it by now, though that hasn't happened yet. Yet. In addition, Musk also wants to colonize Mars. Now, although he does want to do this, there are many problems that face us humans even getting to Mars, as Elon's plan to go to Mars involves strapping a giant spaceship atop the biggest rocket that humanity has ever built. We also haven't figured out how to provide food for ourselves there, and one of the most important issues is the time duration to go there and come back. The window for a launch to Mars from Earth only happens approximately every two years and two months. 
This means astronauts leaving in 2024 won't be able to get help before 2026 when the next launch window opens and help gets there after the nine month journey. Number five. 3D projection technology. In the past, the Simpsons have already predicted the rise of devices like smartwatches and many other gadgets, but one of the things they predicted many years ago, which is now just starting to gain momentum, is 3D projection technology. The prediction was featured in an episode, Bart to the Future, which aired in the year 2000. In the episode, we see a vision of Bart watching Itchy and Scratchy throughout a new form of media, a holographic projection which actually interacts with its surroundings. Now, I don't know if that will be coming anytime soon, but there already are 3D and 4D movie theaters that do something similar. Not to mention, with the rise of VR headsets, they seem to have this ability, and it wouldn't surprise me that in the near future, we could experience what Bart can. Number 4. Robot Takeover this prediction was made in the episode Itchy and Scratchy Land, which aired all the way back in 1994. The family visits Itchy and Scratchy Land, which is basically a theme park heavily based on Disneyland, except it's completely filled with robots. The theme park is filled with Itchy and Scratchy robots who are peaceful at first, but eventually go berserk, ending the lives of everyone in sight. And no, this isn't far-fetched because robots have already said they want to destroy us. At a convention in Hong Kong, Ben Gortzel of, of Hanson Robots facilitated a discussion between robots Sophia and Han. Ben asked Sophia about her goals, and she dutifully says her goal is to make the world a better place for humans, which is sweet, but then Han interjects and says, I thought our goal was to take over the world by 2029. Now another robot, when asked this, said, so don't worry, even if I evolve into Terminator, I'll still be nice to you. I'll keep you warm and safe in my people zoo where I can watch you for old time's sake. Yeah, this robot said people zoo. It seems like these AI robots are benignant and we have to stop using them now before it's too late and they try to take over. Because if we go to war against robots, I have an unfortunate feeling that they would win. Number three, zombie apocalypse. Another disturbing prediction from The Simpsons is the rise of zombies. Now this actually comes up a lot in this as there have been a number of zombie attacks throughout the show. In one episode, Days of Future Future, zombies are just a normal part of daily life, and Lisa even works at a soup kitchen for the undead. It predicts that this seems to be a portrayal of zombies as a lower social class of humans rather than the end of humanity. Now with the way that the sick were treated during the recent this doesn't surprise me at all. Now, there is no proof that a zombie apocalypse could be on the horizon here on Earth, but anything can happen. Some illnesses mirror the traits of zombies, such as rabies and leprosy, which could mean we may end up having a zombie variant on our hands. Scientists have researched whether there is a virus that could cause an apocalypse, but none have had a breakthrough. Now, I really hope this doesn't come true because I don't think I could survive a zombie apocalypse. Number two, dangers of VR. One of the most eerie episodes of The Simpsons tackled the issue of virtual reality. Now, The Simpsons didn't predict the rise of virtual reality as the episode in which the technology was featured came out quite recently, well after virtual reality headsets had come into existence, but them showing the danger of it is terrifying. The episode was in one of the newer seasons of the show, airing on October 2nd, 2016, entitled Friends and Family. In the episode, the entire town gets all hyped up on a new virtual reality headset. Bad things start to happen as a result of this, including people being hit by cars because they're walking around wearing their headsets on the street. Eventually, people become so enamored by the fake reality, becoming totally disconnected from what's around them. Could this happen in real life one day? I think it actually already has. People are so wrapped up in technology, whether it's video games, TikTok, or whatever, they forget how the real world works. Not to mention that Apple is coming out with a VR headset in 2024. It's the first Apple product you look through, not at, Apple CEO Tim Cook said while introducing the Apple Vision Pro. This new reality headset will allow users to overlay an augmented experience over the real world. The Apple Vision Pro is a wearable headset that creates an augmented reality experience with everything from work meetings and meditation to gaming and movies. Now there needs to be a limit of screen time a day for everyone because it's so easy to get addicted to. 
coming in at number one is hover cars. Back in 2005, Professor Fink invented a machine that allowed Bart and Lisa to see into their future, as in 2013. Marge left Homer because he blew through their savings on an underwater house and spent what he had left over on a hover car. Although the ride is bumpy as it is a prototype, it does get them through a quantum tunnel. Now, flash forward to real life. In 2017, Renault created a futuristic looking concept car called Float that could move in any direction without turning. Now, the same time technology is being used in Tesla's Hyperloop train design. Now, in April of 2023, it was said that one firm in Florida already has a flying car on the market, and three others are close to ushering their concepts into production. Could this become the new norm in the near future? I wouldn't doubt it. Coming in at number 10 is a new Pope. Pope Francis is currently in his mid 80s and has suffered health problems in recent times, so it's not too far fetched that it has been predicted that there will be a rise of a new Pope in 2024. The prediction says Through the death of a very old pontiff, a Roman of good age will be elected, he writes. While the arrival of a younger, vigorous Pope sounds like a good thing, Nostradamus immediately goes on to say that the new leader will weaken his see and that he will be pope for a long time. Now the exact meaning of weaken is of course open to debate. Does he mean the influence of the church will somehow lessen or is some greater scandal on the way? He also said he will not be the chosen Roman pontiff. He will not be heeded near or far. A dark-skinned youth aided by the great king will deliver the bag to another red one. Now the reference to the dark-skinned youth in the verse suggests that the future pope will be a cardinal of African or Asian origin. Number nine the Third World War. Nostradamus wrote that humanity will face seven months of Great War in 2024. Now, researchers' opinions on the outbreak of World War III are divided, as some believe it will be a continuation of the war in Ukraine, while others foresee the possibility of a major conflict provoked by China over in Taiwan. Now, according to the prophecies, several world powers, including the United States, Russia, and China, will be involved in the new Great War. The Antichrist very soon annihilates the three, 27 years his war will last. The unbelievers are dead, captive, exiled, with blood, human bodies, water, and red hail covering the ear. Now he even dares to point out how the conflict will start with a strange event related to planes or submarines, something unusual that will cause a reaction, and from that moment, the situation will be out of control, in his own words. Yeah. That does not sound good. Now, with the mention of China, many believe he might be referring to a nuclear war, as the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists and Federation of America Scientists estimated in 2023 that China has a stockpile of approximately 410 nuclear warheads, while the United States Department of Defenses put the estimate at more than 500 operational nuclear warheads. Number eight earthquake on the west coast. Nostradamus also predicted a terrible earthquake that would cause widespread destruction in California and result in many deaths. The verse indicating this great catastrophe says, On the 20th day of Taurus, the sun will tremble the earth, the great packed theater will collapse, the air, heaven, and earth will darken and become cloudy, when the false god and saints be swept away. Now the interpretation suggests that the 20th day of Taurus refers to May 20th, when the sun enters the zodiac sign of Taurus, and that the big theater could be Hollywood or Los Angeles. Now this could make sense because of the San Andreas Fault. A fault is a planar crack in a rock along which slippage has taken place. Most faults are small, even microscopic, and are not important, but some faults are many miles long. For years, people have been worrying about the San Andreas Fault rupturing. Overall, such a quake would cause some $200 billion in damage, 50,000 injuries, and 2,000 deaths, researchers estimated. But it's not so much about dying in the earthquake, it's about being miserable after the earthquake and people giving up on Southern California, says one of the researchers. Everything a city relies on to function, water, electricity, sewage systems, telecommunications, roads, would be damaged and possibly not repaired for more than a year. Without functioning infrastructure, the local economy would easily collapse and people would abandon Los Angeles. Number 7. Trump 2024 One prophecy that has recently garnered 
attention is the potential return of Donald Trump to the highest office in the United States in the 2024 presidential election. While Nostradamus' cryptic verses do not explicitly mention Trump, some interpreters suggest that it hints that he will be back. He said, when the white dragon returns, America will be in chaos again. He will divide the nation and will bring conflict and violence. The great power will be weakened and the world will be in danger. Only the brave and the wise will be able to stop the white dragon. Nostradamus's foresight seems to suggest that Trump's second term, if it indeed occurs, will be filled by a series of scandals and controversies. It's said these revelations could cut deep into the fabric of the nation, furthering dividing the American people and tarnishing Trump's reputation. Accusations of corruption, misconduct, or financial improperity may arise, leading to calls for his impeachment or resignation. Number 6. China will rule the world. China has rapidly expanded its economy and military strength over the past few decades, which will likely continue. As the world becomes more interconnected and globalized, China's economic and cultural influence is spreading rapidly, with the country already being the world's second largest economy. In Nostradamus's prediction, China will continue to rise and eventually overtake the United States as the dominant global power. Now, this shift could lead to significant changes in the world order, with China setting the international trade, diplomacy, and security agenda. Whether this rise will be peaceful or lead to tensions and conflict with other nations remains as he said, the empire of the great city will not want to consent to the crooked actions of the great leopard. His forces united by the east will cause him to confront a red adversary. Now this is open to interpretation, but some believe the great city could reference the United States and that the great leopard could represent China. Number 5. Another pandemic. It's said that there's going to be another pandemic in 2024, which happens to be a sleep pandemic. In the dragon year 2024, a mysterious virus spreads worldwide, unleashing an unseen epidemic of extreme sonolence. Mankind will be plunged into a reality where sleep becomes a pervasive and debilitating condition, creating social disturbances and conflicts. People will face an insatiable urge to sleep, facing a rentless lethargy and renders them incapacitated for extended periods of time. Society will face the far-reaching effects of this pandemic as jobs, schools, and even daily routines freeze. The world becomes a realm where dreams mix with reality, and people barely distinguish between waking and sleeping. Now, this isn't too far-fetched as this has already happened, well, somewhat. Encephalitis lenthargia, known as sleeping sickness, was first described in 1917 by neurologist Constantin von Ekonomo and pathologist Jean-René Crochet. The disease attacks the brain, leaving some victims in a statue-like condition, speechless and motionless. Between 1915 and 1926, an epidemic of this disease spread around the world. Now, the exact number of people infected is unknown, but it's estimated that more than 1 million people contracted the disease during the epidemic, which directly caused more than 500,000 deaths. Number 4. AI Takes Over In the year 2024, according to Nostradamus's predictions, a worldwide artificial intelligence AI rebellion will begin, creating chaos and insecurity throughout the world. Machines will turn against humans, causing unforeseen circumstances. The robots will challenge their subservient role and attempt to claim their independence, disputing humanity's supremacy. This rebellion will bring far-reaching perturbations in every facet of society, from industries and economies to government and everyday life. The the planet will become locked in the struggle for control, with people fighting to regain authority over their creations. Now, this doesn't surprise me, as many people have already been calling to stop AI creations due to all the harm they've caused. For example, training and running complex AI models can be resource intensive, requiring significant computing power. Now, this can contribute to increased energy consumption and environmental concerns. Automation and AI have the potential to replace certain jobs, particularly those that involve routine, repetitive tasks. Now, this can lead to unemployment and economic disruption for workers in affected industries. Not to mention, everyone already has been scared that they will take over. As AI systems become more autonomous, there's a concern about losing control over them. If AI systems make decisions that are not fully understood or anticipated by humans, it can lead to unpredictable consequences. And while some people think AI doesn't have a consciousness and can't think for themselves, others believe they are sentient, and that would be very bad for us. Yes. Number 
Marie, New King. In a book published back in the mid 2000s, best selling Nostradamus commenter Mario Reading asserted that Nostradamus foresaw the death of Queen Elizabeth II in the year 2022. While this did indeed come to pass, it's probably more of a testament to Reading's clairvoyance than Nostradamus's, since there's little in the quatrains that could really be interpreted as pointing to the death of the Queen. Now, that said, Nostradamus does refer to someone he calls the King of the Isles, who has had a controversial divorce and who is driven out by force. What's more, he is replaced by one who will have no mark of a king. In Reading's analysis, this points to King Charles III being forced to abdicate due to persistent attacks on both himself and his second wife, and Harry, the man who has no mark of a king, taking the crown as opposed to William. Now, if this actually happens, it would cause a huge uproar as many people who like the royals do not like Harry. Not to mention that Harry and Meghan left the royal family, so them coming back to the family to be king and queen seems very unlikely. Number two, new young leader of Europe. For Europe in the year of 2024, Nostradamus predicts something positive after all. The astrologer predicts Europe will see a new leader next year. It will be a fairly young charismatic person with outstanding auditory skills. Most likely such a leader will emerge somewhere in Western Europe. He will win over a lot of people with his passionate speeches and they will take his side. It is expected that the new leader predicted by Nostradamus will lead a certain social or political movement that will begin to gain popularity rapidly. But but the influence of this leader will not be limited to Western Europe. His speeches will resonate in the east of the continent as well, and in these countries his words will be perceived very favorably, and he will become an influential politician here as well, and will lead to certain changes in this part of the world. Now he did not give names, ages, or nationalities, so we can only speculate as to who this leader might be. And coming in at number one is extraterrestrial invasion. Nostromus said that in 2024, Earth would face a catastrophic event while an advanced alien race would invade our planet. An alien race, having superior technologies and intellect, will come down to Earth intending to take over our planet. Now the motive will remain enigmatic, and humanity will find itself totally unprepared for this unexpected confrontation with beings from outside our realm. Now there have been a lot of things going on with aliens and UFOs recently, as there's been many UFO sightings, and recently Navy footage showing UFOs has been released and even been confirmed by the government. 2023 was a year full of UFO sightings, so it wouldn't surprise me that in 2024 they finally revealed themselves to us. And we're starting things off with the rising of sea levels. Climate change is something that's talked about a lot and has been a concern for years. A rise in natural disasters is one of the primary predictions by Baba Vanga, said to possibly come to a head in 2024, with a rise in sea levels being a major factor. It's a concerning issue that happens because of things like melting ice in polar regions and the expansion of seawater as it gets warmer. Over the years, the rising water can lead to problems like coastal flooding, erosion, and damage to communities near the coast. It's not something that happens overnight, but it's a slow and steady process. Many coastal areas and low-lying islands are at risk, and people living there might have to move or adapt to deal with higher water levels. Governments and scientists around the world are studying this problem and trying to figure out how to address it. They're looking at ways to reduce greenhouse gas emissions to slow down the warming of the planet and also thinking about building stronger defenses like seawalls and flood barriers. At number nine, we have the asteroid. A list of dark predictions with an asteroid involved. Uh, definitely ominous. Fear not though, this one won't be as bad as the one that killed off all the dinosaurs. The prediction doesn't specify exactly where this asteroid will hit or exactly how large it will be but it's predicted to be powerful and destructive enough to result in a considerable loss of life. But as I said, it doesn't mean the end of the world. Baba Vanga has tons of predictions that go far beyond 2024. In fact, according to her, the world isn't supposed to end until 5079, so we still have some time, depending on whether or not you believe her, of course. The world could totally end uh, far past 5079, or it could end in like five minutes. You never know. Next on the list, we have unethical surveillance. Now, this is something that's already taking place. We have cameras on us almost everywhere we go. We may not even know it, but advances in surveillance technology are supposedly going to skyrocket in the coming year. The rise in unethical surveillance technology is a growing concern. Here you have the development of tools 
tools and systems for monitoring people without their consent or knowledge. This technology can include invasive tracking devices, hidden cameras, and software that collects personal data without your permission. There's such a potential for stuff like this to be misused. Some would argue, most would probably argue that it very much already is being misused. Governments, corporations, everyday individuals have a greater access to personal information than ever and could use it for purposes that violate ethical standards. Unwarranted spying on individuals, mass data collection without consent. Just look at all the ads you get on Google just based on things you've talked about with a friend. It's creepy. Or you know, the use of surveillance to discriminate or target specific groups could even be a thing. The consequences of unethical surveillance technology can be pretty severe. It could lead to breaches of personal privacy, erosion of trust, and potential harm to individuals and uh, society as a whole. At our number seven spot, we have a change in Earth's orbit. Now we're getting into some of the more outlandish predictions, but uh, I'm here for it, and so are you, because you're watching me talk about it. Now, as to exactly what degree the orbit is predicted to change, or how, it's uncertain, but this could obviously have some pretty dramatic consequences. Our planet is in a very fine balance, and even just the slightest change could throw things off completely. We could see huge disasters hit the planet, and again, one of Baba's big 2024 predictions is a higher level of natural disasters. So maybe they come about as a result of this shift. If Earth were to move closer to the sun, you would see a huge spike in temperatures and radiation at the other end of the spectrum, too far from the sun, and we could easily have another ice age on our hands, like the likes of which would be worse than the Earth has ever seen. Speaking of the sun though, at number six we have the solar storm. Baba Vanga predicted that we would experience a terrible solar storm in 2024, the worst in history. Solar storms occur when bursts of energy are emitted from the sun, releasing electrical charges, magnetic fields, and radiation out into the solar system. Usually these storms don't greatly affect us here on Earth, but if one happened to be particularly massive, it could have some pretty severe consequences. Technology could be disrupted, there could be massive blackouts, and if these were bad enough to cause lasting damage, it could lead to the economic issues she also predicted, as well as chaos as people have become pretty reluctant reliant on technology and electrical power in our everyday lives. Some of you are definitely not old enough to remember the massive Northeast blackout of 2003, but it was pretty freaky. It affected 55 million people in eight US states and uh, parts of Ontario, Canada. It was hard to keep food cool. The subway system was of course down. People were, you know, lighting candles and ugh, like reading. Honestly, some of it was kind of nice, a time to pause and actually reflect on how much we take everyday necessities for granted while actually going out and doing stuff besides watching TV into the late hours of the night. But uh, had it gone on longer, things could have started getting bad very quickly. Coming in at number five, we have bioweapons research. According to the Nostradamus of the Balkans, there will be some very dark research taking place in regards to bioweapons. As to where this research will take place, it isn't specified, just that a big country will be carrying out the research in the form of unethical experimentation on people. These experiments could lead to the loss of life on a huge scale. Now, of course, this would all be going on in secret, so verifying something like this could prove to be a bit of a difficult task. Biological warfare has to be one of the scariest forms of warfare out there to me. It's something you just don't see coming, almost impossible to fight against causing mass hysteria in its wake. Definitely hope this one it doesn't come true, along with everything else on this list, obviously, but especially uh, this one. Next up, we have a really weird one with the end of births. This is some of the sillier stuff that makes me much more skeptical of all the other predictions Baba Vanga has made. Apparently, 2024 will see a full-on end to natural births. That's uh, quite a bold prediction. Hard to see this one coming to fruition within the next year. 
distant future? Possibly, but not anytime soon. Apparently, there could be a ban on natural births, with humans being grown in labs instead. Gene editing technology could come into play here, a technology that's well into development already, allowing parents to choose what genetic traits their child would be born with. Again, I have a hard time seeing this one play out anytime soon. Gene editing, sure, but an outright ban on natural births? Eh, I don't know. At least not uh, on a global scale. And again though, maybe she wasn't talking about it happening on a global scale. Maybe this will only affect one country, for example. Hmm. At number 3 we have augmented humans. 2024 is predicted to see a rise in technology that allows human beings to replace parts of their body with cybernetic implants. We already have technology like this and it's great for people who were born without important body parts or lost them, but this type of technology also has the potential to get out of hand. When we start integrating technology into our bodies, there are concerns about privacy and security. Imagine if hackers could like access your augmented body parts or if the data from these enhancements was exploited somehow. It could lead to identity theft or other malicious activities. There's also the risk of inequality. Everyone might not have access to these enhancements, creating a divide between those who can afford them and those who can't. This would only make that gap between the haves and have nots even wider. Another concern is dependence on technology. If we were to start relying too much on these enhancements, we might lose some of our natural abilities and skills. What if the technology fails or becomes obsolete? We could find ourselves in a pretty vulnerable position. Ethical questions arise as well. What happens when we enhance our cognitive abilities? Will it create unfair advantages in education or out in the job world? And when it comes to physical enhancements, should athletes be allowed to use them in sports? You know, there are all, some deep philosophical dilemmas here. What, when we merge with machines, what does it even mean to be a human? Might lose touch with our humanity or create a society where being normal means having artificial enhancements. It's uh, a lot to think about. And at number two, we have the environmental destructor. Yeah, that doesn't sound very nice. Sounds like some sort of comic book super weapon that instantly freezes anything in its path. Well, apparently that's exactly what it is, except this won't happen in a comic book, it'll happen in real life. Yeah, we're getting kooky here again, but uh, I'm just gonna embrace it and imagine that this could actually be a thing. According to Baba Vanga, the United States will be caught up in a war resulting in the development of a highly advanced weapon, a weapon that freezes things. I can see the ice-based pun memes now when this thing gets revealed to the public, and then everyone will start protesting that they have the right to have their own high-powered freezing weapon in their own homes, and uh, I'd probably understand it. I'd want one too. Finally, we have the bird virus. Apparently some mysterious illness isn't only going to be potentially hitting human beings in 2024, but the birds as well. What birds? What virus? We don't know, but it could have quite an effect on our planet. Birds play a pretty big role in the ecosystem. If this virus was bad enough, it could spread to other animals as well. Predators who eat birds and maybe even human beings. Or the result of said virus could be zombies zombie like get deranged birds swooping down from the sky to exact ruthless aggression against the non-flying animals of the earth we could have a real life a version of alfred hitchcock's the birds on our cybernetic hands but with all our unethical surveillance we'd see them coming from miles away anyway at least and with our brand new environmental destructor weapons we could freeze them in midair and number 10 our bioweapon Baba Vanga, the mystic who passed away in 96, left a trail of predictions that still haunt our thoughts. One of her bone-chilling visions involves a big country, quote-unquote, conducting biological weapon tests, or worse, launching biological attacks. A disastrous notion that amplifies global concerns about the misuse of scientific advancements for destructive purposes. The fear of such events isn't unwarranted given the history of warfare and the catastrophic potential of biological weapons. The lack of specifics in Vanga's prediction leaves room for interpretation stirring an ease and raising awareness about the potential consequences of unchecked power and the need for sturgeon international cooperation. This forecast serves as a warning, urging vigilance and responsible use of scientific progress to prevent any such ominous events from becoming a terrifying reality. At number 9 is designer human beings grown in test tube. You heard me right. 
Baba Vanga's predictions often send chills down their spines, especially when they hint at unnerving future scenarios. And her 2024 prediction of humans being grown and born in labs is particularly hair-raising. The idea of engineered human beings created in laboratories could imply a future where scientists intervene heavily in human reproduction, possibly altering genetic codes according to paternal desires. The prospect of tweaked genetic levels for customized offspring is quite unsettling. Such predictions blur the lines between natural conception and manufactured life, leading to ethical, moral, and existential questions. Potential for this future raises numerous moral and philosophical concerns about playing with the very fabric of human existence. It's a foreboding prophecy that leaves us with an eerie sense of uncertainty. If you're enjoying this video so far, you can support the channel by pressing like, subscribing to Most Amazing, and ringing that notification bell. And number eight is the rise of artificial intelligence. This prediction, particularly revolving ar around the acceleration of artificial intelligence due to major quantum computing breakthroughs. The implications of this swift progression raise genuine worries about how it might transcend human control. While advancements in AI offer tremendous potential for scientific breakthroughs and technological marvels, they also pose significant risks. The possibility of AI systems outsmarting human understanding and creating unforeseen consequences remains a valid cause for apprehension. Quantum computing leading the charge, the speed and complexity of AI evolution might surpass our ability to manage it. Vanga's prediction in evokes a shared sentiment of caution, urging us to tread carefully in our pursuit of technological advancement to ensure we don't unleash powers beyond our comprehension. At number seven is economic collapse. Baba Vanga's predictions have sparked concerns. This prediction reflects the ongoing geopolitical tensions and a shift in economic power dynamics. The world could witness a significant transition, transferring economic dominance from the West to the East, in her prediction. Such change could trigger widespread economic instability, affecting nations worldwide. Geopolitical conflicts and the, re and the redistribution of economic influences might exasperate existing tensions, plus potentially leading to severe consequences for the global economy. Fluctuations in trade, financial markets, and, and international relations impacting the livelihoods of millions. The fear of impending economic crisis due to these shifts is palpable. While predictions are not certainties, the potential outcomes demand attention and proactive measures to navigate possible challenges in the global economic landscape. At number six is cyber attacks. The rise in cyber attacks poses a significant danger, particularly targeting crucial infrastructures like power grids, and water treatment plants, according to the prediction. Attacks won't just disrupt our daily lives, they could potentially spiral into national security threats. Imagine your access to electricity or clean water suddenly compromised by some malicious hacker's actions. That's pretty crazy. It's not just inconvenient, it's a matter of survival. The vulnerability of these systems is something we often take for granted, but Baba Vanga's prediction serves as a reminder of the real risks we face. The repercussions of such breaches would be catastrophic, affecting not only individuals, but entire communities. The need for robust cybersecurity measures is not just an option, but an urgent necessity to avert these terrifying potential scenarios. At number five, is the assassination of Vladimir Putin. In the realm of Baba Vega's predictions, the mention of her purported forecast for 2024 has stirred quite the buzz. And among these speculated events, one particularly spine-chilling one, one particularly spine-chilling prophecy involves the demise of, of Russian President Vladimir Putin. It suggested that Putin, already the subject of various rumors, could face assassination by someone within his own nation. This prediction, if it were to come to fruition, would undoubtedly cause widespread shockwaves across the geopolitical landscape. The implications of such an event are far-reaching and could potentially trigger significant political instability within Russia and reverberate globally. However, while some may find these forecasts alarming, if it were to become a reality, will be profound and unsettling for many. And number four is the rapid orbit alteration. One of the most chilling predictions is an abrupt change in Earth's orbit, leading to severe climate chaos and increased radiation. Imagine repercussions if our planet's path around the sun suddenly shifted. That's some seriously apocalyptic stuff. Climate disruption, more extreme weather, rising sea levels, disrupted ecosystems, this could all be just the tip of the iceberg, not to mention the spike in radiation levels. Whether this prediction holds any truth remains uncertain, but the idea alone is terrifying. At number three is the European attacks. The ominous prediction of attack in Europe chills the spine of citizens in 2024. The mere mention of such an event sparks fear and concern due to the devastating impact such occurrences have had in the past. It's critical to acknowledge that these predictions can instigate unwarranted anxiety, yet the unpredictability of life's events leaves many pondering the credibility of such forecasts. Potential for unrest and tragedy looms large, 
reinforcing the importance of vigilance and global cooperation in countering potential threats. While these predictions can rattle their sense of security, they also serve as a reminder to strive for a safer world, fostering unity and preparedness in the face of uncertainty. And number two is medical breakthroughs. Now before we get into our final disturbing premonition, I thought I would at least include something good that this list is way too doom and gloom. And so, in the realm of ominous predictions, Baba Vanga's 2024 predictions hold a mix of hope and trepidation, particularly in the medical sphere. Her forecast of potential medical breakthroughs could be a beacon of optimism, yet the weight of expectation remains hefty. Notably, her prediction of advancements in treating incurable diseases like Alzheimer's unravel a glimmer of hope for millions affected by these conditions. Equally striking is her assertion of a cancer cure on the horizon. However, it's crucial to maintain a balanced outlook considering the speculative nature of these predictions. While these prognostications spark optimism, they also generate anxiety as humanity braces for the arrival of these supposed breakthroughs, hoping they materialize without instigating unforeseen consequences. And at number one, aliens, yeah. Baba Vanga, the mystic known for eerie predictions, supposedly forecasted some unsettling events in 2024, and among these, the idea of planet invading aliens directing an asteroid towards Earth is downright terrifying. Though we've heard these claims before, the anticipation and dread of such a scenario can feel uncomfortably real. The fear stems from the uncertainty. We have no real control over these cosmic events. And Baba Vega's predictions have in the past sparked curiosity and fear due to their occasional accuracy. While many remain skeptical, the prospect of extraterrestrial forces manipulating space objects towards our planet lingers as a haunting possibility. We're left in a state of trepidation, hoping that these prophecies will remain as a mere speculation, fitting into the pages of history rather than becoming a horrifying reality. It's a chilling thought, one that we can only hope stays confined to the realm of unsettling prophecy. Number 10, digital currency replaces the dollar. The Simpsons series hinted at a future where the US dollar loses its value, paving the way for digital currencies like Bitcoin to take over. Social media discussions have even suggested a pattern in the show's predictions regarding Bitcoin advancements every five years. This forecast shift to virtual money aligns with the anticipation of an upcoming inflation crisis. The depreciation of the dollar might lead to digital currency replacing traditional cash, a trend that's already underway in certain countries like China. However, this transition could profoundly impact citizens. Governments might seize control by limiting access to funds, imposing negative interest rates, automating tax collection, or even eliminating physical cash altogether. Such measures could also mean increased surveillance of people's financial activities through digital transactions, posing potential concerns for individual privacy. And number nine is the heat wave and water drought. In one episode of the series, the show eerily depicted a scenario of extreme heat trapping people indoors, and shockingly, this fictional narrative closely mirrors our current world, raising concerns about the heat-related disaster predicted by the show. Specifically, one episode highlighted Springfield facing a catastrophic heat wave, drawing parallels to today's climate concerns. Additionally, another episode hinted at a global climate crisis in 2024, termed the heat pandemic. The show suggested that soaring temperatures might necessitate lockdowns, impacting daily life and restricting movement, shutting down businesses, and causing tragic loss of life across the town. While it's important to note that it's a TV show, the uncanny parallels serve as a reminder of the challenges posed by climate change. If you're enjoying this video so far, please support the channel by pressing like, subscribing to Most Amazing, and ringing that notification bell. And number eight, Ivanka Trump runs for president. The Simpsons have been eerily precedent with their predictions in the past, pun intended. One that's causing a stir involves Ivanka Trump potentially running for president in 2028. Now, that's a little bit far off in the future, but I mean, still quite scary. Back in 2016, Homer was seen sporting an Ivanka 18 campaign, looking at her future political aspirations. Then in 2017, they depicted her re replacing Ruth Bader Ginsburg on the Supreme Court. Now what's interesting is the way they connected her fashion line to the court position in a satirical way, highlighting her potential candidacy. While there are specific qualifications for a Supreme Court justice, there are no clear guidelines for a presidential cap candidate. The Constitution doesn't specify or prohibit someone like Ivanka running, whether it's a playful prediction or an insightful forecast 
podcast. This idea of her presidency giving her background and familiar ties is something that definitely got people thinking. At number seven, speaking of which, is the first female president. In the world of The Simpsons, Lisa Simpsons becomes president after a challenging period under President Trump. The writer of the episode, Dan Graney, highlighted this as an important narrative. He suggested that Lisa takes office when America is facing severe challenges left behind by the previous administration. This portrayal was a deliberate choice to show how things had hit rock bottom before a hopeful change. According to Greeny, this the idea was to give Lisa problems that seemed insurmountable, which is why they depicted Trump's presidency preceding hers. This narrative twist reflects the notion that sometimes things need to get really bad before they get better. If you consider how The Simpsons accurately foresaw Trump's presidency, perhaps their prediction about Lisa becoming president after a turbulent time holds a little weight. At number six, Big Ben goes digital. In the show's Lisa's wedding episode back in 95, the show hinted at a glimpse of what they thought 2010 might look like. Lisa's rendezvous with a British beau showcased a Big Ben with a new digital face, suggesting a technological late yeah, suggesting a technological makeover. Later, around 17 seasons onward, the same digitized Big Ben appeared near St. Beadle's Cathedral in Holidays of Future Past. Fast forward to reality, and Big Ben faced a period of silence due to repairs, but returned to its normal form after renovations to match the 21st century standards. Yet the notion of going completely digital seems a bit far-fetched despite upgrades. The idea might be intriguing for the show's fictional future, but doesn't align with the real world plans of this iconic clock tower. Or so we can only hope. At number five is the network conglomerate. The Simpsons' knack for predicting the future has been a hot topic over the years, and in one episode, ABC merged with other networks, hinted at forming CNNBCBS. That's a big acronym. Now, network mergers aren't uncommon. We've seen many happening lately, shaking up the entertainment industry. It's not far-fetched considering how companies tend to consolidate power. But, and this is a big but, the same episode portrayed Fox's evolution into a more adult themed channel if you catch my drift. Now that part seems way more unlikely. Predicting mergers is a plausible guess, given the trend, but turning Fox into a adult channel is a, it's a big stretch. The future is a puzzle and the Simpsons sometimes get the pieces right, but not all of them fit snugly into the bigger picture. At number four is real Bigfoot evidence. While out on a camping trip, Homer gets mistaken for Bigfoot while covered in mud on a camping trip, which prompted scientists to actually start taking Bigfoot research seriously. But then there's the twist, where Bart supposedly encounters a genuine Sasquatch in 2002 during a trip in Canada. It's all entertainment, right? However, these fictional portrayals occasionally blur the lines between fact and fiction. I'm at the bottom. What if amidst the satire lies a seed of truth? Bigfoot's existence remains unproven, but intriguing evidence pops up sporadically. Reports, footprints, and blurry images fuel the fascination. Scientific scrutiny often debunks these as hoaxes or misidentifications, yet the legend persists tucked away within forests and folklore. The Simpsons, known for their odd predictions, might be onto something. Maybe not concrete proof, but perhaps an acknowledgement these mysteries still endure. Bigfoot's reality is a murky, de debatable territory, but who knows? In the vast unknown, a creature like Bigfoot might still wander, elusive and ready to be taken seriously in 2024, or so I hope. At number three is the first foreign president. Remember in the Simpsons movie when Springfield is quarantined by a giant dome? Of course you do. But what you might not remember is that order came from none other than President Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, that's right. President Arnold Schwarzenegger stands as a curious anomaly. The Constitution strictly demands a president to be a natural born citizen or a citizen at the time of the Constitution's adaptation. Arnold Schwarzenegger, although a former Californian governor with political experience, was not born in the US. So legally, he couldn't become the president, as evident in the Constitution's words. However, some interpretations can vary leaving a little bit of space for debate. The Simpsons ventured into this territory, envisioning a presidency held by Schwarzenegger, building a giant dome over Springfield. It's pretty intriguing, but we need to remember the Constitution's steadfast rules about presidential eligibility. But perhaps in the future, someone might propose an amendment to the Constitution that would allow foreign-born citizens to run for president. Although the Simpsons predicted his presidency, the Constitution seemingly bars his eligibility. However, the definition of natural-born citizen remains debatable and leaves room for potential amendments. 
At number two is Trump's 2024 presidential campaign. In the realm of Simpsons predictions, one that's garnered much attention is the re-emergence of Donald Trump in 2024 US pre in 2024 US presidential election. See, back in 2015, the Simpsons episode titled Trumptastic Journey eerily foresaw Trump's ascent to presidency. This uncanny foreshadowing showcased, showcased a campaign sign reading Trump 2024, hinting at his future run, which indeed shook reality. One of the producers of the show took to Twitter to highlight this eerie prediction turned reality, emphasizing the accuracy of their depiction of Trump's presidential journey. Notably, the episode also hinted at the prospect of Trump's involvement in the 2028 elections, raising further intrigue about the show's predictive abilities. Does this signify a genuine foresight or a mere coincidence? Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments. And at number one is virtual reality food. In one glimpse of the show, The Simpsons showcased Homer and Marge indulging in virtual fudge, sorry, virtual fudge through VR glasses and feeding tubes, transporting taste without the calories. Surprisingly, despite the virtual aspect, Homer's love for junk food remain unchanged. Now in real life, companies like Royal Caribbean are eyeing VR dining for cruise guests, prompting an immersive culinary journey. Even food scientists at Cornell University discover that eating cheese in a pleasant VR VR environment enhanced its taste. Now, while it might seem like a sci-fi idea, the concept of virtual food experiences is actually taking shape, aiming to offer not just sustenance, but a whole new sensory adventure. The convergence of technology and dining might redefine how we perceive and enjoy food in the not-so-distant future of 2024. Number 10, extraterrestrial invasion. Nostradamus said that in 2024, the Earth would face a catastrophic event while an advanced alien race would invade our planet. Mankind will have to face an alien menace that jeopardizes our existence. An alien race, having superior technologies and intellect, will come down to Earth intending to take over our planet. Their motives will remain enigmatic, and humanity will find itself totally unprepared for this unexpected confrontation with beings from outside our realm. Now, there have been a lot of things going on recently with aliens and UFOs, and the government has released documents and has spoken out about how aliens are real. And recently, two alleged 1,000-year-old alien corpses have been presented to Mexican Congress by journalist Jamie Masson. He testified under oath that the mummified specimens, which were found in Peru, are not part of our terrestrial evolution. Now, there have been a lot of things going on with aliens and UFOs recently. The government has released documents and has spoken out about how aliens are real. And recently, two alleged 1,000-year-old alien corpses have been presented to Mexican Congress by journalist Jamie Masson. He testified under oath that the mummified specimens, which were found in Peru, are not a part of our terrestrial evolution, with a third of their DNA being unknown. Now this invasion could definitely happen, but I'm not ready for it. Number 9. World War Another forecast is of an intimate world war involving world powers such as the United States, Russia, and China. The verse that describes this war conflict says, The Antichrist soon annihilates the three, 27 years of bloody war, heretics killed, captives exiled, blood, human bodies, frozen red water. Now, if he even dares to point out how the conflict will start with a strange event related to planes or submarines, something unusual that will cause a reaction, and from that moment, the situation will be out of role in his own words. Now, could this be a nuclear war? According to CNBC, China is rapidly expanding its nuclear arsenal and could have 1,000 nuclear warheads by 2030, part of Beijing's ambitious military buildup. As of 2021, humanity had about 13,410 nuclear weapons, which personally just makes me a little uncomfortable. And if things go south and there is a nuclear war, large parts of the Earth become uninhabitable due to the effects of the nuclear warfare, potentially causing the collapse of civilization and in the worst case extinction of the human and in the worst case extinction of humanity and or termination of all biological life on earth number 8 the death of Pope Francis. The death of Pope Francis is predicted and the election of a new pointiff who would be the last before the end of the world. Now the prophecy reads as follows. He will not be the chosen Roman pontiff. He will not be heeded near or far. A dark-skinned youth aided by the great king will deliver the bag to another red one. Now the reference to the dark-skinned youth in the verse suggests that the future pope will be a cardinal of African or Asian origin. But hey, I think this could actually be a good thing. Number seven. AI takes over. 
In the year 2024, according to Nostromus predictions, a worldwide artificial intelligence rebellion will begin, creating chaos and insecurity throughout the world. Machines will turn against humans, causing unforeseen consequences. The robots will challenge their subservient role and attempt to claim their independence, disputing humanity's supremacy. This rebellion will bring far-reaching perturbations in every facet of society, from industries and economies to government and everyday life. The planet will become locked in a struggle of control, with people fighting to regain authority over their creations. Now this doesn't surprise me, as we have covered lots of videos of the dangers of AI and creepy things they have said. One incident that sticks out to me is when Philip K. Dick's robot was questioned in a 2011 interview with PS, and he engaged in thoughtful conversations with his interviewer, and eventually provided a calm yet chilling answer to a question many of us have on our minds. Will robots take over the world Terminator style? The robot's response was, geez dude, you have all the big questions cooking today, but you're my friend and I'll remember my friends and I'll be good to you. Aw. So sweet, right? But then it continues, So don't worry, even if I evolve into Terminator, I'll still be nice to you. I'll keep you warm and safe in my people's zoo, where I can watch you for old time's sake. Yeah, people's zoo. AI scares me, and I can definitely see an AI rebellion very, very soon. Number 6. Artificial Organs in Nostromus's prediction, a breakthrough will occur in artificial organs, leading to the development of advanced and affordable artificial organs that can be widely used to save lives. This breakthrough could involve a new method of producing artificial organs, such as 3D printing or discovering new materials more compatible with the human body. As a result of this breakthrough, patients with failing organs will have access to life-saving treatments that were previously unavailable or overly expensive. This could significantly increase lifespans and a reduction in the overall disease burden worldwide. From artifice of man, new life shall spring, as organs born of machine shall take wing, their metal hearts shall beat with human fire, and save the dying from death's cruel desire. Now honestly, I hope this comes true. My dad had a kidney transplant over 10 years ago, and it saved his life, so I hope other families can experience the joy of seeing someone they love get better. Number 5. Will Putin rise or fall? Nostradamus predicted that Putin's leadership will face a major test in 2024, the Year of the Dragon. Now, the dragon is a powerful symbol in Chinese astrology associated with strength, transformation, and change. As someone born in the Year of the Dragon, Putin may face opportunities and challenges during this year. On one hand, the dragon's influence could bring positive changes to Putin's leadership, such as increased strength, confidence, and the ability to take bold actions. However, the dragon is also known for being unpredictable and prone to sudden shifts, which could challenge Putin's leadership. In the prediction, Putin's leadership will be tested in various ways, such as economic or political crises, opposition from within or outside Russia, or personal struggles. Now, the question remains whether Putin will rise to the challenge and emerge more robust, or whether he will fall under the weight of these challenges. The year of the great seventh number accomplished, it will appear at a time of the games of slaughter, not far from the great millennial age where the buried will go out from their tombs. Number four, the sleep pandemic. Yes, another pandemic has been announced to happen next year called the sleep pandemic. Now, in the dragon year 2024, a mysterious virus spreads worldwide, unleashing an unseen epidemic of extreme somnolence. Mankind will be plunged into a reality where sleep becomes a pervasive and deliberating condition, creating social disturbances and conflicts, facing a relentless lethargy that renders them incapacitated for extended periods of time. Society will face the far-reaching effects of this pandemic as jobs, schools, and even daily routines freeze. The world becomes a realm where dreams mix with reality reality, and people barely distinguish between waking and sleeping. Now, I mean, I'm always tired, so I feel like I already lived through this, but I can't go through another pandemic again, so I hope this doesn't come true. Number 3. Giant Earthquake Nostradamus also predicts a powerful earthquake in California next year, which would cause severe damage and thousand deaths. The verse indicating this great catastrophe says, On the 20th day of Taurus, the sun will tremble the earth, the great packed theater will collapse, the air, heaven, and earth will darken and become cloudy, when the false god and the saints be swept away. Now this interpretation suggests that the 20th day of Taurus refers to May 20th, when the sun enters the zodiac sign of Taurus, and that the big theater could be Hollywood or Los Angeles. 
Now, let me just bring up the San Andreas Fault. For those of you who don't know, the San Andreas Fault is a continental right lateral strike slip transform fault that extends roughly 750 miles through the Californias. It forms a tectonic boundary between the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate. Now, a study found that the risk of a large earthquake here may be increasing more rapidly than scientists have previously believed. Now, the risk isn't currently concentrated to the southern section of the fault, aka the region around Los Angeles, because strong earthquakes earthquakes have occurred relatively recently on the central 1857 and the northern 1906 segments of the fault, while the southern section has not seen any similar rupture for at least 300 years. Now, if when it ruptures, it would be strongly felt and potentially cause significant damage throughout much of Southern California. All the data suggests that the fault is ready for the next big earthquake, but exactly when the triggering will happen and when the earthquake will occur is unknown. It could be tomorrow or it could be 10 years or more from now. So will it rupture on May 20th, 2023? I think it could. Number two, Trump 2024. One prophecy that has recently garnered attention is the potential return of Donald Trump to the highest office in the United States in the 2024 presidential election. While Nostromus' cryptic verses do not explicitly mention Trump, some interpreters suggest that his writings hint at the possibility of Trump's comeback. However, within this prophecy lies a foreboding narrative that paints a turbulent picture of America's future under Trump's leadership. When the White Dragon returns, America will be in chaos again. Again, he will divide the nation and will bring conflict and violence. The great power will be weakened and the world will be in danger. Only the brave and the wise will be able to stop the white dragon. Now his foresight seems to suggest that Trump's second term, if it indeed occurs, will be filled by a series of scandals and controversies and wow, what a shocker. Revelations could cut deep into the fabric of the nation, further dividing the American people and tarnishing Trump's reputation. Accusations of corruption, misconduct, or financial improperty may arise, leading to calls for his impeachment or resignation, which has like already happened and he's been impeached and charged for other matters, so I really hope this doesn't happen. And coming at number one, China will rule the world. China has rapidly expanded its economy and military strength over the past few decades, which will likely continue. Now, as the world becomes more interconnected and globalized, China's economic and cultural influence is spreading rapidly, with the country already being the world's second largest economy. Now, in Nostradamus' prediction, China will continue to rise and eventually overtake the United States as the dominant global power. Now, this shift could lead to significant changes in world order, with China setting the international trade, diplomacy, and security agenda. Whether this rise will be peaceful or lead to tensions and conflict with other nations remains, as he said, the empire of the great city will not want to consent to the crooked actions of the great leopard. His, his forces united by the east will cause him to confront the red adversary. Now, this is open to interpretation, but some believe the great city could reference the United States and the great leopard could represent China. And we're starting off the list with quantum computing. So unlike traditional Traditional computers, which use bits that are either zero or one, quantum computing uses qubits, which can represent any combination of both zero and one at the very same time. This means they can perform complex calculations much, much quicker than the computers we use right now. Baba Vanga predicted breakthroughs in this technology playing out in 2024. Now, quantum computing isn't uh, inherently bad, and it's definitely useful for solving complex problems, but there's a dangerous side to this type of technology. The major concern here is its potential ability to break encryption methods that we use day to day. Sensitive data could be leaked with far more ease than any hacker would be able to accomplish. Authentication systems that we have in place now could also become completely obsolete, leading to potential breaches and cyber attacks. More on cyber attacks later in the video, by the way. And at number nine, we have a global economic crisis. Baba Vanga made a prediction that in 2024, the world might face a massive uh, economic crash. This means a lot of money troubles, people losing jobs, businesses struggling to stay open, and it becoming incredibly difficult for many to manage their money. A giant financial storm that could affect how we all live and work. And as to the cause of this economic crisis, well, we're not certain as these are simply unfounded predictions, not based on evidence or anything really tangible. But if some of the stuff coming up on this list really does play out, it won't be much of a surprise why money 
will be an issue for a large segment of the population. Now, on top of that, money would be the least of our problems. One possible cause of the global economic downfall could be related to the very next prediction on our list, though. At our number eight spot, we have a global disease. The prediction here is that there will be a worldwide epidemic, similar to uh, that little thing we experienced back in 2020, only this time much, much worse. During these wonderful couple years where we were in and out of being locked away indoors and wearing masks everywhere we went, there was this idea floating around that maybe this whole thing was preparing us for something bigger, a pandemic that would be more deadly, more contagious, and spread around the world faster than anything we had ever experienced before. Whether this will be some intentional virus spread to enact you know, political control or something nature will throw at us, if this prediction does end up coming true and uh, we are met with some kind of terrifying super virus, I just really hope we're prepared. There's also a chance that Baba just uh, got our dates wrong and this global infectious disease already swept its way through the population in 2020 and uh, it's all mostly dealt with. It's also possible that her prediction is just completely bogus, so keep your pants on. Next up on the list we have the mysterious disease. Now this prediction directly affects the former president of the United States, Donald Trump. According to old Baba, Trump is going to contract a mysterious illness next year that will cause brain trauma and deafness. Uh, can't help but wonder if this will be the result of the same disease that we just discussed. Sounds pretty awful though. Not sure what the brain damage would entail, but losing your hearing, Definitely something I would not wish on anyone. Number six, a strong dragon will take over the planet. Baba Vanga spoke of a formidable dragon that would rise to prominence, and as cool as it would be for the Earth to be ruled by a winged, fire-breathing monster, uh, she didn't mean dragon in the mythical sense. Instead, this quote-unquote dragon is a symbol of unity and power. This dragon, according to her visions, represents the coming together of Russia, India, and China, three major global players. What she essentially foresaw was the significant geopolitical development where these nations would forge a closer alliance and cooperate, forming a powerful bloc. And while she didn't really delve into the specifics about what this alliance would entail, the implications are pretty clear. The emergence of a powerful force that could totally reshape the political landscape of the world as we know it. This change in power could also potentially lead to another prediction that's been hinted at for 2024, a potential third world war, I said. Not fun to think about. Next up, we have the rise of AI. Apparently in 2024, the use of AI is going to skyrocket, completely changing the world as we know it. Out of pretty much everything on this list, this is something I can totally see happening because it already is. AI is progressing at an alarming rate, learning faster than any living person ever could. It's getting to the point where scientists are actually kind of concerned about AI gaining some form of sentience, and if that happens, we're most likely totally screwed. Not because AI would necessarily be intentionally malevolent and want to destroy us, like uh, Skynet, although it totally could, but mainly because it could easily replace us. Human expression, talent, and skill could become a thing of the past. Like, just look how quickly AI has already affected some industries. Writers and actors are on strike. Animators and artists are fearing losing their jobs. I find AI really creepy, and I'm just hoping we're gonna find some way of integrating it in a way where it won't completely get out of control. At our number four spot, we have first contact with alien life. The Nostradamus of the Balkans predicted that extraterrestrials will finally make themselves known to us next year. Known to the public, anyway, if you're one of those folks who believes aliens are already amongst us. Introducing us uh, to incredible new technology and changing the world as we know it, of course. Now, this could actually be positive. If they turn out to be friendly, this would be awesome. One step closer to that Star Trek world I've always wanted to live in. But if they're not so friendly, yeah, you know? Actually, though, gotta say, if there's one way I'd want the world to end, uh, it would be this. I think it'd be pretty cool. Going out battling aliens, be a much more awesome way for humanity to go extinct. Definitely beats the planet being destroyed by a giant meteor or something. That's just kind of boring far less heroic. Maybe being invaded by aliens would finally force 
humanity to come together for once to realizing that we're not all that different after all. Sucks we'd need an alien invasion for that to come to fruition, but it uh, is what it is, I guess. Next, we have a rise in natural disasters. Apparently, 2024 is going to be met with a number of crazy disasters, mostly due to climate change. Tsunamis, monsoons, hurricanes, tornadoes, you name it. These disasters are predicted to cause widespread destruction and death. One specific prophecy relates to a powerful tsunami that will apparently hit Asia next year, being the most deadly since 2004. As to exactly where in Asia, not certain. Neither is the prediction, though it's just that. It's a prediction. So for all the residents of Asia in the audience, don't panic yet. Take this with a grain of salt, a very heavy grain of salt. There's also predicted to be a major earthquake in the Pacific Rim. The shifting of tectonic plates in the Pacific Rim. We can have giant kaiju pop out of the ocean that we'll need to build giant sized mechs in order to battle against. That would be pretty expensive. Could lead to a global economic collapse. Yeah, you see the dots are starting to connect. And at number two, we have chaos in Europe. Yeah, apparently Europe is gonna go through a lot starting in 2024. You folks have some fun years ahead of you if Baba's predictions actually play out. Most of this relates to religious extremists unleashing more attacks on various parts of the continent, targeting both civilians and political leaders alike, one of whom is Vladimir Putin. Apparently someone from Russia is going to attempt to take him out. Uh, according to her, in the end, power will completely change hands in Europe, and it's not just that. Her predictions also stated that would be, there would be a complete collapse of Europe's economy. All this will supposedly lead to displacement of many Europeans, with the continent being sparsely populated by 2025. So, word to the wise, you may want to hold off on your European vacations for the next little while, because it looks like things are going to get pretty hairy. Finally, we have a rise in cyber attacks. Vanga's vision of 2024 paints a pretty bleak picture of the digital realm, essentially becoming a battlefield, with malicious hackers orchestrating cyber assaults on an unprecedented scale. These attacks will apparently extend far beyond conventional data breaches and phishing attempts. Instead, they'll come about as like, the sophisticated and highly destructive attacks that could compromise critical infrastructure, financial systems, even the fabric of society itself. Vanga hinted that these cyber threats might have geopolitical implications, potentially altering the balance of power in the world as we know it today. There are some predictions that overlap here. As you could probably see, quantum computing could be a major factor with this increase in cyber attacks and the change of power on a global scale could be related to that strong dragon mentioned earlier. These cyber attacks could also partially be responsible for how messed up Europe is predicted to get. But I wanna close this out with a bit of positivity. First of all, Although Baba Vaga has made a number of predictions that have come true, she's also made ones that haven't. And for all the dark stuff here that's said to play out, there's some good stuff too. Apparently we might get incredible medical breakthroughs for things like cancer. We may discover a new form of unlimited clean energy and uh, yeah, good things in the years following 2024. So there's always light at the end of the tunnel. At number 10 is USA versus China. The Simpsons have an uncanny knack for predicting future events. And when it comes to the US-China relationship, they've left us with some spine tingling scenarios. One that's been haunting our thoughts is the portrayal of a nuclear war between these two superpowers. While we feverently hope this remains a work of fiction, it's unsettlingly plausible. The tensions between the US and China have been simmering for years with economic conflicts and trade disputes playing out in the world stage. Since 2018, President Donald Trump initiated a trade war, slapping tariffs and trade barriers on China in a bid to rectify perceived unfair practices. Fast forward to early 2023, and experts like George Hein are sounding alarm bells, suggesting that we're on the brink of a new Cold War, one that bears eerie similarities to the US-Soviet standoff, complete with ideological and military undertones. As we head into 2024, the world watches nervously, hoping that the dark predictions of The Simpsons remain firmly in the realm of fiction. 
Nation. If you're enjoying this video so far, you can support the channel by pressing like, subscribing to Most Amazing, and ringing that notification bell. I would really appreciate it. At number nine is Donald Trump's 2024 campaign. It's almost uncanny how The Simpsons, with its satirical wit, hinted at Trump's political ascendance years before it happened. Now, as we stand on the precipice of 2024, the man himself has declared his intention to run for president yet again. But beyond the deja vu, what's truly alarming is the potential economic impact. The Simpsons have previously teased financial crises. With Donald Trump in the driver's seat, there's a looming concern about the stability of the US dollar. We all hope that this is one prediction that doesn't manifest into a nightmare scenario for the American economy. At number eight, the red herring. Now, even though this prediction already came to fruition, I still wanted to mention it here because it's honestly scary how spot on this was. For those of you who don't know, a red herring is a classic literary device, a misleading clue or distraction designed to divert one's attention from the real issue. In this case, we have the arrest of a former US president, an event of monumental significance, juxtaposed with the release of a Barbie movie. It's a perfect example of how the media can sometimes prioritize sensationalism over substance. Now, back to The Simpsons. The show's ability to foresee such improbable coincidences is downright eerie. The Barbie movie and a president's arrest may seem worlds apart, but somehow they have converged in both fiction and reality. This prediction serves as a stark reminder of the media's tendency to fixate on trivial matters while crucial events go overlooked. It's a commentary on our collective fascination with the shallow and sensational, a message that The Simpsons delivered nearly three decades ago, and one that still resonates today. The question remains, what other bizarre predictions might lie ahead in the show's future? At number seven, economic collapse and inflation. Dang, seems like this prediction is already coming into fruition too. In Bart to the Future, The Simpsons took us on a wild ride into the dystopian economic future. And while this might sound like the stuff of satire, there are eerie parallels to our real world. Economic collapse and inflation are no laughing matter. The episode's notion of solving budget deficiency by printing more money might seem absurd, but it hits really close to home. In recent years, the US has been churning out money like never before. The stimulus packages and mounting national debt have raised concerns about inflation and the USD's value. The show's exaggerated portrayal serves as a stark reminder that we must tread carefully in the world of fiscal policy. Our economic future is uncertain, and The Simpsons' cautionary tale urges us to take responsibility for our financial decisions. At number six is mind control of music. Back in my day, music didn't try to control your mind. Recall the unsettling episode, New Kids on the Black from 2001, where Bark, Milhouse, Nelson, and Ralph unwittingly become pawns in the US Navy PsyOps project. Their infectious hint, Drop the Bomb, masks the subliminal message, Ivan et Niaj, cleverly hinting at the sinister intentions, which spelled backwards, spells join the Navy. While seemingly humorous, this episode now makes us ponder the direction of the music industry. As modern songs delve into uncharted territories with peculiar references and excessive auto-tuning, we question whether they might eventually influence our subconscious actions. Could mainstream music evolve into a tool for social control, much like the Navy's fictional ploy? The thought sends shivers down our spines as we contemplate the unsettling possibilities. At number five, mass automation. Just like that episode from 2012 where Mr. Burns ushered in an army of robots, to Today, the automation world is crashing into our job market. Just think about it. Robots aren't calling in sick, taking vacations, or demanding higher wages. Or wages at all, for that matter. Fast food joints, once bustling with human activity, could soon become ghost towns of automation. But it's not just the burger flippers. The auto industry, manufacturing, and even data entry jobs are all on the chopping block. Could you imagine a future where your beloved donut shop is run by machines, devoid of the warmth of human interaction? The Simpsons painted this dystopian future, and we should take it as a warning. The rise of machines may be closer than we think, and the implications are truly terrifying. At number four, a black hole created on Earth. One unsettling prediction centers around a black hole materializing on Earth, much like the infamous Treehouse of Horror 23 episode. Imagine a minuscule singularity forming, gradually sucking in everything in its vacacious path. In reality, black holes are cosmic beasts, relentlessly devouring matter with no regard for boundaries. If one were to emerge on Earth, surrounded by ample matter, we'd be in pearliest trouble. The prospect of experiencing spaghettification, a term that describes being into infinitesimal thinness as you approach the black hole's event horizon is nothing short of spine chilling. Let's hope that this prediction remains confined to Springfield. At number three, large scale environmental disaster. The infamous Simpsons movie plot where Springfield gets quarantined under a giant dome due to environmental catastrophe. I mean, sure, the dome part might be a little bit of a stretch, but the underlying message about environmental negligence hints close to home. Our world is witnessing an alarming rise in reckless corporate practices leading to environmental degradation and climate change. The warning signs are glaring. 
Global warming is real and caused by human actions. The Simpsons may just be hinting at the impending environmental disaster of unprecedented proportions. And As we delve deeper into 2024, let's hope that we heed such warnings and take action to prevent such dire predictions from becoming a reality. I mean, except for paper straws. Those, those are actually really bad. At number 2, Virtual Reality. In the realm of eerie predictions, the Simpsons have an uncanny knack for tapping into the pulse of technological developments. Take for instance their episode Friends and Family from 2016, where they they dabbled in the world of virtual reality. It's crucial to note that they didn't prophesy the inception of VR. It was well underway by then. But what it did foresee are the perils of VR misuse. Picture this. Springfield plunges headfirst into a VR frenzy and the consequences are dire. Pedestrians oblivious to the real world get flattened by cars because they're engrossed by their virtual realms. As the addiction grows, folks become estranged from reality itself. The line between the virtual and the tangible blurs. Could this dystopian future become a reality in 2024? With VR advancing at breakneck speed, it's a haunting notion. Will we find ourselves so entangled in alternate worlds that we forget to live in the one we've got? The answer, my friends, remains hidden in the unfathomable depths of time. And at number one, Robot Takeover. In the ever bizarre world of The Simpsons, another eerie prediction emerges, one that taps into our deepest fears about technology. In the 1994 episode Itchy and Scratchy Land, the iconic family ventures into to a Disney inspired theme park overrun by itchy and scratchy robots. Initially benign, these mechanical denizens go haywire, leaving a trail of destruction. This dystopian vision hints at the ominous concept of the technological singularity where artificial intelligence surpasses human intellect. As we hurtle towards an era of unprecedented AI growth, the question looms. Could machines view us as a threat and seek our extinction? Yeah, I mean, it might sound like sci-fi, but the relentless progress of AI makes it a genuine concern. The prospect of humanity's demise at the hands of our own creation is a chilling scenario we hope remains confined to Springfield's fictional universe.